Good morning. We're going to take the derivative of this function. It's y equals the quantity e raised to the sine of x over 2 to the third power. Um, we could uh, start deriving this uh, directly and do the chain rule, and we are going to use the chain rule regardless, but uh, I think it's a little easier and I, uh, just to go ahead and use your knowledge of uh, bases to exponents raised to exponents and the rule says that if you have a base raised to an exponent that expression raised to an exponent you just multiply the exponents so I'm just gonna rewrite this as e 3 times the sine of x over 2 is just the sine of 3 times the sine of x over 2 so now I don't know I think it makes it a little a little easier a little more straightforward to take this derivative rather than yeah, I, I'm pretty positive it does. I think you'll agree if you try it the other way. So y prime, uh, the derivative of e raised to anything is just a copy of itself. So we have e raised. And then if you know anything about bases other than e, it's just times the ln of the base. Well, the ln of e is just 1, so that's why we don't write it. Uh, now we take the derivative of the exponent, which is 3 sine of x over 2. Well... 3 is just a constant, so it stays. So we take the derivative of the sine of x over 2, which is the cosine of x over 2, and then we multiply by the derivative of uh, the argument, which is x over 2, and the derivative of x over 2, that's like 1 half times x, the derivative of 1 half times x is just 1 half. So um, just clean this up a little bit although I don't know if you really want to call this cleaned up. Uh, I can put that 3 over halves times the cosine of x over 2 times e to the th uh, 3 sine of x over 2. And that's it.